brother uh, Muhammad from the KSA. Muhammad from the KSA asked about what shall we do if you drop the Quran? While you're reading the Quran, it dropped out of your hand. I understand from your question that it happened by mistake, right? In this case, you're not blameworthy. Why not? Because Allah the Almighty stated by the end of Surah Al-Baqarah, "Rabbana la tu'akhidna in nasina aw akhtana." He taught us a beautiful dua to say, Our Lord, do not hold us accountable if we do anything which is wrong or a mistake or forbidden out of nisyan, out of forgetfulness, or akhtana, or by mistake. And Allah the Almighty answered the supplication and granted us a waiver if we do anything out of forgetfulness, by accident, or by mistake, then we're not blameworthy. In the hadith which explains this ayah, the Prophet ﷺ said, يعني, The punishment, the blame is waived. There is no blame upon anyone in my ummah who does anything which is wrong by khata, by accident, unknowingly, without paying attention, accidentally, والنسيان, out of forgetfulness. And a thing that you were forced to do it, like there is a life threat. You have no choice. You were forced to do it. You're not blameworthy. So you're reciting Quran. You love the Quran. You're holding the Quran. It dropped out of your hand. You're trying to carry your baby. You're trying to drink a cup of tea. And you fell. And it fell on the Musa. Something happened. It fell out of your hand. You're not blameworthy. So what are you supposed to do? Pick up the Quran. And what else after I picked up the Quran? Is there any specific rituals? Do I have to hold the Quran and kiss the Quran and put it on top of my head and kiss it three times as some people do? None of the above. If it dropped out of your hand, do I have to kiss the Quran? You don't have to kiss the Quran. You're not even blameworthy because you didn't do it on purpose. A person who throws the Quran on, person on the floor is a disbeliever. But if it fell out of your hand by mistake, may Allah forgive you. So you recommend to say, Astaghfirullah or Astaghfirullah al -Azim. Why not? We say Astaghfirullah even if he didn't do a specific sin. So it would be encouraged to do that.